Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is June the 1st of 2023, and I'd like to share another encouraging word with you from the Lord today. This word today is quite short and gets to the point. The Lord has told us that He is the light of the world, that He brings light to the darkness, and that His light overcomes the darkness. We are living in a very dark world in these days. And even as the Church of Jesus Christ, we can feel overwhelmed and defeated. But the Lord would want to encourage us that His light is in us, and it is His light in us that will push darkness away from us and that will radiate outwards to others. I hope this word will bless you. It is titled, Radiating the Light of Christ. I'll begin by reading scripture. John 8 verse 12. Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In this scripture, the Lord is telling us about the darkness that people walk in apart from him. But when we choose to follow him, we receive his light that gives life within us. John 1 verse 5 The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. This scripture encourages us that this light that shines in the darkness cannot be overcome by the darkness, but it in fact will overcome the darkness. Luke 11 verse 36 If therefore your whole body is full of light, with no dark part in it, it will be wholly illuminated, as when the lamp illumines you with its rays. This scripture verse tells us that when we have the light of Christ in us, we are illuminated just as a lamp is illuminated. I'll begin reading this word. I will keep you in perfect peace as your eyes are stayed on me. I will give you everything you need. You will be filled and fulfilled. I have everything you need. Stay connected to me and I will take you into places ordained for you. Keep your mind stayed on things above. You are a light to those around you. You bring the light into the darkness. I will place you into places of grave darkness and you will radiate the light of Christ to a hurting and dying generation. I will take you into these places. I will move you by the power of my love. I will look after every detail, says the Lord. I am releasing you into the fullness and you shall burst forth with song and adoration unto the Lord. I am putting you together with those like-minded. Your hearts will beat in one accord with the purposes of the Lord. Though the darkness is great, the light and life of Christ is increasing in my elect and will roll away the darkness as it radiates forth. I will give you the words to speak. I will pour out my spirit upon those you come in contact with. You will see the wind of my spirit blowing 
to sweep away the chaff. I will increase the winds, and only the planting of the Lord shall remain. You will see the work I do in you. You will be changed, made new, transformed into the image of Christ. Be faithful in little, and I will position you to rule over much. I will cause increase in your life, much fruit of the harvest to be taken into the barns. I am moving swiftly, and I will lift you up and move you out. You will see how easily you are transported from place to place without great effort on your part. I will open the doors and make the way straight. Be faithful, set your eyes on me. You will not be disappointed, says the Lord. As I mentioned, this word today is quite short. And the message the Lord is giving to us is that though there is great darkness all around us, He has put His light within us, and we are illuminating His light to others. It is radiating from us. Others can see it, though we ourselves are unaware of it. And it is because of this light the Lord has put in us that the harvest is able to come in. Those who are in darkness are seeing the light and they are being drawn by the light. The Lord is telling us in this word today that he will use us. He will take us into places of grave darkness and radiate his light through us so that those in darkness would be saved. The Lord is telling us This is not a difficult calling upon our lives. It is not a task that we have to undergo. But it is His work through us. As every bit of darkness is removed from our lives, the light of Christ can fully fill us and shine through us. And doors will open before us to make the way straight. This word today is reminding us that we bring the light of Christ into the darkness in this world. I hope this word today encourages you that the light of Christ is shining through you and you are impacting those around you and pushing back the darkness. Thank the Lord that it is his light that shines through us, bringing hope to a hurting and dying generation that is encompassed by the darkness of the day. Be encouraged, be blessed. May the Lord fill you to the full with his brightness. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.